What's up all my DJs out there? On this quick tracker tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to basically organize by both key and BPM at the exact same time. This is super useful because if you wanna mix and key, which you always should be, if I go to basically my library, this is basically all my songs, and I go to key, if you notice, okay, organized by, I don't know why it says none, that's weird, anyway, but, if I want to organize by key, you notice that I have, well, 120, then I have 90, then I have 150, right? And obviously these are all my own songs. So if I want to mix in key, yeah, I'm in key, but jumping around between BPM is gonna be kind of frustrating. So here's how you do it. First thing you want to do is first organize by key. I've already done that as you can see here, but all you want to do is basically click key. You can make it go down or up depending on what you're going for. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here to the search bar and type in the BPM that I want to be DJing around. Now, anytime you type in a BPM, it's gonna be plus two, and minus two. For example, if I type in 128, it's gonna be 128 plus two is gonna be 130 minus two, 126. So the range is gonna be from 126 to 130. Now, obviously right here, I'm not seeing anything besides this one track because I have that in the title. So what I'm gonna do is gonna go here and go to BPM. Boom. Now, as you can see, it's mixed in key in a sense, right? It's all organized by key and it's by BPM. So if I'm doing like a big room set or a house set, as you can see now, these are all around the same keys, everything from 130 all the way down to 126, right? The main range of it. Same thing, like say if I'm uh, doing a Moomaton set, because I do a lot of world music in Moomaton, I'm gonna type in maybe 112, because I actually do a blend of uh, like 115 and actually 110, like 110 is typically Moomaton speed, so I'm just gonna go to 112, so that way I get, uh, excuse me, actually 113. So I'll do plus two, minus two, and then if I wanna go down to one, uh, 110, I can just do this. So this is something you have to kind of figure out. For example, like I have a 110 right here, if I do this, you notice now I have a 115. So this is something you have to kind of figure out sometimes. I know a bit frustrating because actually you're like, oh, well, I don't mind having it be plus three or plus whatever. A little bit tr uh, frustrating and tricky, but this is basically the way you have to do it. So let's like, say if I'm, again, if I'm doing a Moomaton set, I'll sometimes leave it around 113 or I can even start like this. And next like, I when I'm mixing, and let's like, say I want to go from Moomaton to maybe like Deep House and go up to like 120, 124. Then I'll start doing kind of this, right? Then I'll go to 115. Then I'll have this. Then let's like, say if I want to go to 118, then I'm now more limited, but now I'm kind of getting to that 120 range. Then you do kind of 122 maybe, and then boom, now I'm able to basically transition. So you do kind of have to adjust this as you go, especially if you jump around between BPMs, but that's basically how you do it. Bye.